Welcome back to Studio 701. Along with it being almost spring, you might consider it home buying season. And to help us with uh, prepare for that season, our next guests are here, Cassie and Brittany from Starion Bank. Thank you both for being here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, great to have you. So first of all, we're talking about buying homes, something that is a huge endeavor. So a lot goes into that, starting with pre-approval. Can you start out by just telling us what is pre-approval and why it's so important? Yeah, so a pre-approval is really the bank or the lender looking at your overall financial situation and seeing how much purchase power an individual has. Okay, so it sounds like pre-approval is possibly optional. Uh, so can you tell us uh, what advantages does uh, pre-approval offer the uh, home buyer? I think the biggest uh, piece to take away from getting a pre-approval is it could be the difference of you getting your offer accepted. Um, it shows the seller that you've been to the bank, you've done your due diligence, and they've already looked over your financials. And will also um, be a, a time for you to get your questions, initial questions answered through the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of questions go along with that, <laughs> usually. So if you want to get started with pre-approval, what should we do first? How do we start this out? Yeah, you really want to start by collecting all your financial documents. A lot of times you need W-2s, bank statements, investment statements, really just gathering all that financial information for the banker to review, and then setting up an appointment or applying online to have everything reviewed. Okay, sounds like a good process. And ladies, we know that the uh, 45th annual Bismarck Mandan Home Builders Association uh, Home Show, it starts tomorrow. So uh, what advice uh, do you guys have for the uh, potential home buyers or the uh, home builders at this? I think the biggest thing is getting in and visiting with your banker, um, getting your documents in order, and just knowing when you go out to view the homes, knowing what you can afford, what you feel comfortable with, and knowing that you have all those pieces in place, it's going to give you a lot better uh, position when writing an offer and hopefully getting it accepted versus those that have not taken the necessary steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very important. So if we get our documents and everything ready to go, set up a meeting with Brittany or Cassie, how long could the pre-approval process take? Yeah, it really depends on kind of your financial situation and what you have for income documents and everything, whether you're self-employed or a W-2 employee, it can really be a matter of an hour or, you know, 24 hours, just depending on what financial information you have to provide. Mm, okay. And so, ladies, let's say the unfortunate case that a pre-approval doesn't work out. Uh, do we just get frustrated and, and mm -hmm. kick the curb or what's your advice at that point? Uh, having the knowledge and visiting with your banker, talking through those situations, um, we can help guide some and give some suggestions on what can help improve your credit or what type of income, um, what amount you'll need to get to the price that you would like to purchase at. It's really just having that conversation and going through the documents and knowing where you want to be is going to help you, help us help you walk through that process. Yeah, that mm. definitely makes sense. And we've been mentioning how it's almost spring. Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way, ladies. Um, is this typically the busiest time of year for you having these pre-approval conversations? Yeah, it really does start out kind of the home buying season. You know, the home show is always a good segue into the purchasing market for the year. Uh, spring is a great time for people to start kind of getting back into thinking about selling their homes, buying a home. So really, really a great time of the year for that. It's never fun to go searching for your documents, you know, and getting <laughs> everything ready to go. But again, um, can you tell us once more why that is so essential to make this process a little smoother. It's really just a forecast um, and set it, setting the stage, if you will, um, letting us know and the seller know that you have gone through the proper process, um, verifying income, and really it's going to help you win that deal because you have everything in place uh, so you can move forward and there shouldn't be any hiccups from start to finish if you've collected everything and we've had a chance to review it prior to entering into the process. And I would imagine when you see a home that you really want, having this information already figured out can just escalate the process along mm -hmm. if you make an offer or something. Um, any other words of advice for home buyers? 
I think really just understanding that that pre-approval is really important, especially in the market where we are seeing you know really competitive offers and multiple offer situations. It's really going to set you apart from those other individuals that may not have that pre-approval letter already. So definitely, it's a big priority that should be really important for people to to take very serious and get that pre-approval before starting to look at a home. Wonderful. All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us. And just a reminder that the 45th annual Bismarck Man and Home Show does start tomorrow. So thank you so much, uh, Brittany and Cassie. And if you guys would like to uh, schedule an appointment with one of them, you can start the application process at starionbank.com.